Hello Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, we're using the Animal Wisdom Tarot by Don Brunk, illustrated by Ola Laola. Uh, it's by CICO Books. There's also a website, CICO, CICOBooks.com, down here somewhere, right there. Okay, so if you want to find that, there you go. Supportive Oracle Cards, it's Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. That's on the back in the yellow over here. And that's that for that. All right, what do we got for Aquarius? Okay. These cards are, I don't trust them today because it seems like things are going to go 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 well and they don't always go well. <laughs> I'm like, we'll see. We shall see. It does look good, though. We gotta get there first. So let's get there first. <laughs> um, starting off, Isis Inspiration. You're very inspired to do something. And it seems like, it's almost like fate is pulling you towards something. You've got the um, Magician and the Illuminator, which is... I think the star card, ironically. I do think that's the star card. The star card is your card. Very inspired, very on point, creating something like you were, in, you're a total charge here. It's like, I feel like I'm just kind of like, something is catching my eye or something, or I'm hearing something. Could be you're hearing something, because that would make sense. Um, with an air sign. And you're just getting really inspired. It's almost like you see something going on, you hear a couple words, and you're just like, you know, huh. And you know what else? And then you start researching a little bit, and you're like, you know what else? Hmm. You get really inspired to do something. Something has you extremely motivated. The star card and the um, magician card here, I feel a really good energy here with you, especially with that raven card. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I can make something happen here. All this is coming together. It seems simple. I, it's starting off fairly simple. With an idea, something you want to make happen. All right, cool. Everything's great. Five of branches comes in and the nine of feathers in the environment. This is the perfect time for this idea is what I'm getting. Other people are having some issues with things, this and that. Um, the crow... The crow is a good energy, but in this situation, I do feel like people are like, I want to kind of get away from something that's not working right. There's too much controversy here. I want to stand on my own. I want to fly from this. Um, but they can't at this point. They're feeling stuck. The Nine of uh, Swords isn't really an escape card. It's usually like a sadness or depression. But when I get that crow energy added into it, it's kind of like seeing it for what it is, doing the best I can with it, but kind of like if I need to fly away, then I need to fly away. And they're seeming to be questioning, like, is it time for me to change like that? Do I need to be doing something different at this point? You're, you're coming towards them with this whole new idea and destiny and energy come in because you're giving them a way to kind of step away from this problem that they don't like. They're open to it. I'm getting that with the crow too. They're very open to it with the crow energy. And you're giving them the, the, um, the motivation. I'm getting that with energy, literally energy. Motivation and the way to get out of this and it's time to do it. You're very inspired and it's clicking in with somebody else like really quick. It's like they're on board. They're like, yes, Aquarius, you're exactly right. Let's do that. And you're like, okay, but wait. <laughs> I feel like you're like, great, wait. Here's what we're going to do with this. Um, and you start explaining what, what needs to happen. This has to go there. I want this to happen, but for this to happen, this has to happen here. And you're, you're kind of like explaining what needs to happen first. We got to put this over here. We got to get this in order first here. We got to take care of that there. We can make this happen, but this is what we got to do to make it happen. This is how we got to bring our resources together. This is how we're going to claim our resources and pool them together. There's a little bit of study here because you're kind of like, great, I'm glad you're on board. Now hold on. <laughs> so it's good. This mode of action is making you really look good to this person or people, whoever it is. There's a lot of trust being built here because you're like, let's not just run outside neck willy nilly. I'm glad we're all on the same page. All right, let's put it together. This is what we need to do, like we just explained. They're build, you're building trust, a lot of trust with this person or people. I don't know. For some of you, it's one. For some, others of you, it's more. So take it with a grain of salt, however it works for you. 
Um, the ram comes in. I love the ram. In passion. Now, the ram is very, like, if we're going to do this, we're going to do this. The ram is an all-in. This is like the emperor. It's an all-in energy. If we're going to do this, we're all-in. Halfway is a fail. It's like in, out, or fail. It's kind of like we're all in on this. Everybody who's all in, if we're all in, we're going to do it. We're going to do this. If we, you know, we're going to do it. That's basically it. If we're not going to do it, then bam, then we're out. Fail is the accumulation of like, eh, some of us are in, some of us are not. Everybody has to be in. Anybody who's going to be a part of this, they have to be completely in. The, the, the passion, everybody has to have the passion. If they don't have the passion, which I don't know why I just called it passion, but if they don't have the passion, they can't play. They have to have the passion. And I feel like for everybody that you're pulling forward with you, they do have that passion. But you can't, you can't have people just kind of dragging it down. Be very well aware of that too. Like if people don't have the passion, then this isn't for them. They're going to drag the situation down. That could cause a fail. We can't have that. Keep that in mind. So we can't tolerate certain people just because other people like them or whatever for whatever reason. Either they have the passion and the drive or they don't. And if they don't, they need to go. The, what is this? The safe home protection is coming in. I feel like you're also, like, I almost feel like I want to say you're creating a pact with this. All right, everybody who's going to move forward, this is what we're all sacrificing and this is what we're all going to get out of it. It's almost like we're making this bond, like we're going to look out for each other. Once we're in it, you can't leave. It's kind of like, you know, once we get in this boat and we start heading across the Atlantic, then we're all in this boat together. We're all working towards getting to the other side together. We can't have people changing their mind halfway. We're committing to it. We're going to do this because we only have one boat, so we all have to go to the same place. So we all know where we're going. We're committing. We're, committing. we're making this pact. We're, ta we're leaving here, going across the Atlantic, and we're going to end up in this spot right here. And we're all committed to it. That's the safe home protection. Like, you're getting people to make a pact. Like, we're going to commit to this to the end. We're not going to change our mind halfway through. This is exactly what needs to happen. Poss best possible decision is, like, it needs to be, like, right out in plain sight, right out in plain words, whatever you got to do to make it, like... We are starting from position A. We're going to cross the Atlantic. We're going to end up in position B. And we're all going to work to make that happen no matter how long it takes, no matter how much it takes. That pact will make a huge, huge difference. It's something not only you can look back on and be like, hey, you can't step away. You said this. But it's other people will also bond with that pact. Kind of like, I signed that pact and I meant it. So you, you signed it too, so I'm not letting you out of it. So it's not just you... It's not just you kind of policing it, if you will, but everybody involved in the pact is going to be policing each other. Like, hey, we all made this agreement together. Hey, we're all going together. We all said we would, so we all have to stay in point. So everybody's going to be watching everybody else, like making sure everybody stays on course. I think it's a positive thing. Um, once in a while, you kind of... If I get the beauty with the um, three of cups... You're going to have to get along with people you don't really want to. Um, in this situation, for the duration until you hit your goal anyway, I think you're going to have to kind of get along with people and let things slide that you know you normally wouldn't. This is all in the um, pursuit of the goal is what I'm getting. Because if you start, you got to be careful. Some people you don't like, you don't want to really get along with, I think you're going to have to. I just keep feeling that. Once this is done, well, that's a different story. But while this is in play, for the goal's sake, I feel like you have to get along with people because I'm getting this beauty with the otter. It's kind of like everybody's getting along. I almost feel like you're also kind of in control of that, making sure everybody gets along because you're very good at that when you want to be. If you want everybody to get along, you'll make it so everybody gets along. And I feel like this is one of those times where as long as this is happening, we got to work overtime to make sure everybody gets along. And I feel like you're resisting making certain comments. Okay, that's fine. The outcome. You got the Seer of Shells, which is the Page of Cups. You got the Knower of Secrets, which is the Cat, which I believe is the High Priestess, I believe. In the, um, in the environment, you do have the Five of Shells, which is Jellyfish, which I think are the stingers on the Jellyfish. Somebody's been pushing it. 
When you finally get to the end of this, somebody's really been trying to cause problems, and I feel near the end you're starting to see that. Somebody who's been a part of this since the beginning has been a troublemaker, and it's just you didn't realize how much of a troublemaker they really are until they get to the end. I also feel like you shut them down constantly, left and right, so they didn't become a problem. You didn't allow that. But I also see like you're seeing them more than you did before. Everybody's getting along at the end of this, and I'm getting Magic Mermaid Seduction with Peace. It is ending very well, very peacefully. But they're also saying, like, this is one of those things where you might want to just kind of exit the situation and just let it be. Because somebody's looking to cause problems. I feel like you should know who this is by the end. If you have to warn people you feel appropriate, then warn people that you feel appropriate to do that for. Otherwise, I'm getting you just want to distance yourself from that. Because this situation does not have to be something you have to deal with. This is more of a problem than it looks like. That's what I'm also getting. That's the weird thing about the jellyfish. Sometimes they can look very beautiful, but when those stingers get you, that's not fun. Um, distance yourself from this, because I'm also getting all these tentacles. Like There's so many different ways they can cause problems. Distance yourself from this. It's not about if you can handle this. I'm telling you, once they become a problem, you're not going to want to. It's going to be just annoying. It's just best to just whatever. Let somebody else have that. You're going to identify this through this situation. Just let somebody else deal with that. I feel like that's a big part at the end. Because you are pulling it together. You're making this work out. When you realize who this is, it's like, I don't think you realize what a big problem this person is. And again, it's not like you can't handle it. It's just you're not going to really want to. And they're just so slippery. And just like they have all these tentacles. If they really get into your business and they really get into your life, they're going to be causing problems here and there. And it's going to be hard to unroot them. It's like a tuber. It's like... Um, there's a sumac tree that grows wild around where I am and it's like people try to chop it down but it's a tuber so if it, you chop it down here it'll pop up over there you chop it down there it pops up over there it's also one of those things the more you beat it down the, the stronger it gets like you have one stalk you cut that down you have two stalks into two, two different places you cut those down now you got four different stalks in four different places now you cut those down now you got eight different stalks in eight different places it's like that's what this person's like you you shut them down once they pop up in two different places you shut them down those two ways and they shut up in these all do four different places it's like that this person is a headache like that you don't want it can you deal with it yeah do you want to no I'm telling you, you're not going to enjoy it. You're going to be very aggravated with it. Distance yourself. Probably you want to distance people you care about from that person too if you can. Shut that down before it's ever a problem. That's what I'm getting. Just by, by getting away from it. Just kind of like, we're just going to leave it there and let it do what it's going to do and just ignore it and that's that. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, my, uh, the email is jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four astral at gmail.com. It's also below. Thank you.